Right? And the leper came to him, but he said, give me that hand. Come here to me. Put, and then they caught what he had. He didn't catch what they had. They caught what he had. Healing. Deliverance, right? That's what he caught. And those lepers walked away clean. That's what I'm talking about. That's our Savior. And in him, we have safety. That's what that ark was. That was safety. In him, we live and move and have our being, right? And so your ark or your place of safety may be the only one on the block. Because it's not the house, right? Even though y'all build them good and strong over here because you get some weather, right? The hotel we're standing is like made out of total concrete. That's crazy. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't do that. We spend a lot less money than these little pieces of wood. It's like a <laughs> stick house. <laughs> Definitely is not the, the place of safety in that concrete hotel. But that's not what he's talking about, right? He's talking about belief systems. I'm seeing it in the eyes. I'm hearing it in your worship. I'm hearing it in your praise, your thankfulness, your kindness. Right? And it may be the only place of safety on your block. And you're making kids coming home early from school or dad and mom work and they have latch key. And you can love on them, teach them how to cook a hamburger when dad and mom get home. You know, you do, you do things, physical things, which is what you all do. I love coming to do this. Now this is just the second time ago. I just keep on coming if y'all have me. And we'll raise money for folks who do practical things. Amen? Because we don't want to be like that bunch that walks past the, the uh, man that had fallen by the way of the road. He'd been attacked. A good Samaritan. We don't want to be like the, the guys who walk by and say, well, we'll peace, peace unto you. We'll pray for you. And they keep on walking. But what did the Samaritan do? Hey, Stop. Get you up. Put him in the end. Down here and there's some money. Your papers are right. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Love like that. Yes. So I encourage you to take that happy little song and make it part of your life. And you don't have to tell it, you know, in King James English. You know, you can talk in just regular language and tell them what God's done for you. That's why I like this song. It just talks about it in plain language. So let me sing the tractor song. 